Hi, my name is Gabriel Madin Gabriel Tackler. I am a postdoctoral fellow at the University of Toronto working with Dr. Beat Sander. I'm here to answer a question, and the question is how can we mitigate adverse events of vaccine, particularly COVID-19 vaccine? The current COVID-19 vaccines were approved by Health Canada after a thorough and independent assessment. They made sure through scientific and clinical evidence that the vaccines are safe, efficacious, and of high quality. But like any other medicine, some people may experience side effects. Healthcare providers, however, are prepared to treat immediate reactions. And that's why individuals are asked to stay at a clinic where uh, vaccination occurs for 15 to 30 minutes. The commonly reported side effects are pain at the injection site, headache, tiredness, muscle or joint pain, or mild fevers. Some of those symptoms are part of the body response to developing immunity, uh, and they will likely be mild to moderate and only uh, last a few days. They usually resolve after 24 to 48 hours. Allergic reactions are also another type of side effect. They can be treated and are usually temporary. In rare cases, however, serious allergic reactions or anaphylaxis may occur. The government has increased their monitoring and assessment activities of uh, emerging safety issues. They collaborate and share information with national and international partners. And this continued monitoring can pick up possible adverse events that may not have been seen in the clinical trials. And we all have a role in keeping vaccines safe and get back to normal life. And here are some of the things that we can do. The first thing is, if you have history of allergic reaction, or if you are concerned you might have one with COVID-19 vaccine, to talk with your doctor. And if you have allergies to any of the vaccine ingredients, including polyethylene glycol, then do not get this vaccine. And delay your vaccination or consult your healthcare providers if you have fever, you're sick with COVID-19 symptoms, or have received another vaccine in the past 14 days. It's also recommended that those who had had severe reaction to the first dose of the vaccine should not receive uh, the second vaccine. And if you are getting a reaction to the vaccine, you should contact your healthcare providers. They will report the side effect directly to the public health, and the public health work will uh, keep track of the, the reported side effects to make sure the vaccine continues to be safe. 